HIF. My name is Steve Buckley, and I'm here with Pastor Yaka for reasons that will become clear in just a few moments. But for right now, I'd like to ask the first question. Why is this year different than all other years before it? Uh, you mean uh, besides the pandemic? Besides the pandemic, yes. Right, yeah. You know, I was really looking forward to 2020 being the year that HF is celebrating its 25th anniversary. It's been here, you've been here a long time. You must have been here from the beginning, right? Well, you know, I get that question a lot. Did I start HIF uh, since we've been here so long? But in fact, uh, this year will be our 23rd year next month. Uh, and HIF, obviously, is celebrating 25. So we came just before the second anniversary of HIF. Okay. Tell me exactly, how did HIF get started and, and, and who started it? Well, in fact, HIF got started right here in this house behind us. 68B Chun Hung Dao Street, where Stewart's Temple used to live. One of the expatriates who was here during the early 90s. And uh, about a dozen people uh, came to his home on the last Sunday of August and had the first HIF worship service right at this location. And that's why we're here today. Yeah. So that small group of people that were already meeting together as Christians, were there any other expatriate Christians in Hanoi? Well, there had been uh, Christian expatriates all from during the 80s that were getting together on Sundays to worship together. Uh, they were Catholics, uh, Mennonites, uh, Nazarenes, Lutherans, uh, Evangelicals. Uh, so you can imagine that was quite a diverse group of people that had been meeting together already. So there had already been a group of Christians that were meeting, then why was HIF started? Well, the, some of the evangelicals, they had lived in Beijing and Bangkok and other places where there had been an international evangelical church, like uh, Beijing International Christian Fellowship and uh, Evangelical Church of Bangkok. And they were really longing for this kind of international fellowship here in Hanoi uh, that was more focused on biblical teaching and Christ-centered worship. Uh, so that's why they started HIF. Oh, so that's why HIF began. Did that other group, did they continue on meeting? In fact, today they are still ongoing and they're called Hanoi International Church. Uh, they meet in the, also in the Hanoi Club in the other ballroom next to where HIF Westlake is meeting. And we've had a very good relationship uh, from the beginning. Even uh, these, this time we still meet together for worship during Christmas Eve and Good Friday services uh, every year. Except this year. Well, except this year because, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Nobody was meeting this year. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, it's good to know that there are other sister churches that were here in Hanoi. But let's get back to the HIF story. What happened next? Well, the group that started HIF uh, in Stewart's home uh, was growing and uh, was getting a, a bit large for his living room and uh, his landlord uh, was the relative of the vice president of that day living next door and on the other side of the house uh, was the Iraqi embassy and so very political here on the street and they didn't want so many foreigners uh, gathering together uh, at Stewart's house and asked him if they could move to a more public space So a few months after HIF began, they started to rent the cafeteria of the HITC building on Swan Tree Street, uh, right here behind me, which today is right next to the IPH Tower. And so having more space and starting a children's program, HIF started to grow even more and uh, started to take shape and form the core of what HIF is all about today. Well, it's great to hear a part of that story of what brought HIF to where it is today. And we look forward to more of this story unfolding in the coming months. But thanks for being with us on this journey.